Hi guys, thanks for joining us today. I wanted to do a quick video to show you how I worm my puppies. We raise several litters of Border Collie puppies here on the farm every year and we strive for really healthy puppies and one of the things that we do to keep these little guys on track is a routine worming schedule. So as recommended by most veterinarians, we start our puppies off with their first worming at right about two weeks. Now a lot of wormers on the market for dogs are not safe for puppies that young. Um, Nemex is one of the wormers that can be given to puppies as young as two weeks and in fact we worm our puppies at two weeks, four weeks, and five weeks with Nemex. Nemex brand name wormer is quite expensive. A little four ounce bottle of Nemex is about 20 bucks. Um, this is the active ingredient in Nemex. It's pyramidal paymalt. Um, it can be mixed um, very inexpensively for the equivalent of Nemex. So this bottle here costs about $20. And we're just going to mix it up into this the little four ounce bottle like you would buy Nemex and it costs you about $18, 18 to $20. So this is a much more economical way to have good quality wormer mixed as you need it. Just make sure your exp expiration date on your active ingredient is fresh. It's not good after the expiration date, you'll end up um, ineffectively worming your puppies. So the expiration date is uh, paramount. Okay, so I've done the dose work for you um, to get your active ingredient of the pyramidal paymote um, to equal that of the Nemex you would buy over the counter. Um, you'll need to put one milliliter of the 50 milliliters per ml suspension into 10 milliliters of water. That gives you 4.54 milligrams of active ingredient per milliliter of your wormer. Then that is dosed at one milliliter per two pounds of body weight for your puppies. So we'll get this a good shake. This does need to be shaken every time you use it. Some of the suspension can possibly settle and we're going to we're actually making a double dose to cover all of, not a double dose, but I'm making enough for two milliliters of the active ingredient because I have the weight on the puppies to use two milliliters of this. So as I said, I mix this fresh each time I need it. So this is two milliliters of the parental paymote. We're just putting this into a sanitized bottle, an old medicine, old vitamin bottle. That's two milliliters. Then we'll need a total of 10 milliliters of water per cc of that. So it's a total of 20 milliliters of water added to this. Remember, two milliliters in here, so we'll need 10 per milliliter, which is 20. So this is a three cc syringe, three. This is equivalent to regular Nemex that you would buy over the counter for your puppies. Um, and again, you can mix just the amount you need. You can mix more than what you need and just keep it in this bottle uh, until you use it. I just like to mix it fresh. So we'll bring in the puppies and we will show you how to worm these babies. Okay, we're back. We've got all these little guys, so we're going to show you how 
quickly and easy it is to worm them. We're going to start off with, oh, this is our little girl, Grace. Perfectly marked little black and white border collie. She's the chunkiest of the litter. We're gonna weigh her. She almost doesn't fit in my little, my little boat for her. on we've got it set up wrong it's got to be on pounds okay there we go and she's one pound 14 ounces so almost two pounds and remember one cc of standard Nemax will worm two pounds of body weight. So we are gonna give her just a tiny bit under one cc. Just go slow with them so they don't choke. Nemex is actually quite tasty so they don't mind it. It's supposed to be vanilla flavored. That's it. Mm, this is Bradley, a little blue Merle. He's very nicely marked as well. And their eyes have just opened and it looks like he's going to have blue eyes. He's chunky too, probably not as big as our girl. So let's see what he weighs. One pound, 11 ounces. So we're gonna go, again, a little bit under a cc for him. So this is our next little boy, Atlas. He's also a perfectly marked little black and white border collie. And we're gonna do the same thing for this whole litter for worming them. I won't bore you with that, um, but I do wanna show you each of the puppies since um, some of the future owners may be watching this video and wanna see what their, their puppies look like live on video. Let's see. Here's the little black and white male, Ethan. Also nicely marked. He's a little bit smaller, but not too small. This is Chevy. Also nicely marked, black and white. They all have their eyes open now. Our little runt puppy here is Daniel. He's tiny, tiny. So we're still watching him closely to see if he's gonna do okay. But compared to the others, very, very tiny and very slow to gain weight. The others, the others are, the biggest girl is about twice his size, but he's very vigorous. He nurses and holds his own, just tiny. Let's get our blue Merle girls. Oh, this one's such a beauty. This is Haley, a little blue Merle female. 
she's nicely marked. Her ears are all colored in. She's got the pretty eyeliner on her eyes. And last but not least, this is Fallon. She has a little bit of a white tip on this ear. And it looks like she may have blue eyes. It's hard to tell when they first open. They all look a little bit blue, but a lot of times the Merles will throw some blue eyes. So we'll watch her closely. Anytime you have white on the ears, it can increase their chances of potentially being deaf in that ear. So we'll keep an eye on her. Make sure she's appearing to hear well. You can always do a bear test as well if there are any questions. And that's the Allie and Loki litter. We're going to get them all wormed and uh, we'll be back. We're going to do uh, another quick video that will be separate from this one about ENS protocol. Today is uh, the last day for these puppies to go through that protocol. So we'll, we'll talk to you a little bit more in the next video.